Okay. Uh, so, um, welcome to the pre-show of Year End 21. Um, recording this a little late. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the pre-show. Uh, there's a lot that's gonna be happening in the main show. <laughs> so, uh, every year we have the pre-show, um, well, last year and the year before. Well, no, just last year. No, the last two years we had the pre-show. Yeah. Uh, Hop, we had the pre-show. And, uh, and IV, we had the pre-show. And now in minigame studios, we have the pre-show. There is a lot getting talked about today. Uh, first things first, let's go through what has been announced throughout this week so you're not lost. So, um, uh, on Wednesday, it was announced that Near Army will have three new series coming in uh, Premiere Month. Uh, I'll just go through them right here. Uh, the, there is going to be um, the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, series. There's also going to be the um, uh, Jump In series. And then there's also going to be the... Guardians of the Galaxy series, which is starting in October. So, yeah. Three new series coming this year uh, that were announced at um, year-end. Um, obviously, more are probably going to come in the second quarter. Uh, first up is first quarter. Um, I'm probably going to explain the quarters in the actual year-end. So, we will see that all day. But, um, before we get into the actual year-end, uh, let's also go uh, over, um, uh, Nair Publishing. They announced the name and cover of the book that was, of the breakout book that was announced last year at year-end. That's pretty big. <laughs> It is going to be called Badlands, which is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting indeed that it will be called Badlands. So, um, yeah. Um, there's also the, um... In their village one, uh, which uh, they announced the um, uh, uh, the expansion of the Elephant Island Airport that is finally coming. It's been a long time uh, in the works uh, planning it. It's now gonna come this season. And, uh, because that airport has actually lost its right to let anyone fly into it or out of it. So, that's a big change. We're expecting a lot from a near war in the second, uh, from, uh, near servers in the second quarter about a near war. Uh, we don't know, I can't say entirely yet when that's gonna release. Publicly, uh, we don't know that yet, so, um, yeah, um, I guess another thing that Inair Publishing did do was they announced, uh, there will be two other breakout, uh, books, um, along with the one that was announced at year end 20, uh, which is now titled Badlands. The other two, I would expect you hear stuff about that at year end 22, which is next year. Um, so, yeah. That pretty much wraps it up for the pre-show. Let's head to the first quarter in the actual year end, which is the awards and stuff. So, let's head there now.
What is up in the army? I am Gimner5 coming at you with a brand new video and welcome to year end 2021! Whoo! I haven't waited so long to say that. So long. So long. Welcome to your end 21 of which if you did see the theme unveiling for this one it is element clash yes weird name i know but uh it's fitting we're in an oil rig so, yeah welcome to year end 21 this is an exciting one as uh well it's been a big year for us, and, uh, like, we had the most videos ever to actually include someone not, that wasn't just me. Yes, she didn't talk in the videos, but she was in a lot of videos, and you will be seeing a lot of awards tonight between... Me and I split between both of us because uh, no one else was in the pretty much in the group this year. So that's why I didn't bother putting any of the other banners up on the pillars because no one else really did anything. So with that, welcome to your end 21. This is a big monumental year. I did um put uh banners on. Uh, mine and eyes pillars. If something's wrong with them, then, uh, well. Oh well. Anyway, with that, welcome to your end. This is our big event of the year. This is the final event of the season. This marks the end to the season for us. And, uh, we, unlike some years, we just jump 
head first into next season, literally the week after. This year, not so much. This year, we are taking a week break to recharge after an insanely busy year. And, uh, now I would, I would like to say I'm probably going to do nothing during that week. Um, that's probably a bunch of lies. I'm probably going to film videos during that week also. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah. So, with that, welcome to your N21. We have a, just, if you haven't seen a year end before, we break these into three parts. The first part, the first quarter, the second quarter, and the third quarter. The first quarter, which is this quarter, which includes all the awards and and um, and stuff. Then we go into the pre-show break, and then we do the second quarter, which will be the um. Which will be the briefings. Spanning from all the different groups. Then past that, the third quarter is what wraps up the season. Explains what's going to be happening in the next season. And explains our goals for next season. So, um, yeah. Big, big day. Big day. This is probably going to be the biggest Year end we have ever made. The last last year's was two hours and thirty three minutes. Yeah, this one's probably gonna be double that because of the amount of stuff that's in um in uh the briefing area. So yeah, woohoo! Anyway, I'm so excited to be doing this again. I love doing year end. It yes, it's stressful to make everything for, but it's always fun to do. It's always a blast to um just end this season on a good note. And even though this year hasn't really been that good of a year, but I've been for, like YouTube aside, this has been a crappy year. <laughs> like 2020 was a bomb fire. Uh, uh, was a dumpster fire. This is the. the the preceding dumpster fire year. So it's, it wasn't as bad, but at some points it's been bad. So, like, um, yeah. With that, though, this is a big day for us. We have so much to show, so much to say, so much to talk about Um, for next season. We also have the Season 9 banner in this place. Tonight, to be raised into the rafters. To go right there. And, uh, yeah. So. Uh, the first thing we're actually going to do today is the welcome. Uh, no, sorry. That's what this is. The fan awards, which we do every year. It's just us trying to say thank you for such a good year. Uh, was kind of hard uh, to pick these. A, not a lot of people subscribed this year. Uh, B, well, A, the channel didn't list any subscribers that were subscribed this year. And B, uh, well, we also like uh, highlighting a comment that either helped us or yeah. Um, that was weird, <laughs> I will say. Uh, it was definitely a weird year. <laughs> um, so, we did decide to cut, uh, four, four of the main awards this year. I thought I think I should get this out of the way first because we didn't do anything to do with these yet to this year. Well, one of them will probably never be done again. Uh, two, three of them. Uh, that is the Oracle of the Year, Most Athletic, and ac Academic. Those three are probably never gonna see the light of day again. But, uh, the other one that has not show well, I might decide to, uh, put this, put, give it 
to someone uh, later, but uh, I will decide. And that is the Tournament Champions Award. We did not fully do a tournament this year. I kind of wanted to, but I we ended up not doing one. But uh, we did do a Summer Splatdown tournament, still technically going on. So, but, um, after this month's rounds, there's technically a winner. So, I might give I that banner. We will see, though. We will see. Anyway, let's get to the fan awards, which are up there. <laughs> Okay, here's the fan award boards. This is comment, this is subscriber. It's subscriber that's first. Uh, right? Yep. YouTube Gaming Subscriber of the Year. Now, I couldn't remember the other two. I know we had them that those two years, but I couldn't remember. I put that one, <laughs> so... Uh, that was last year. Yeah. So, the subscriber of the year for this year, and had the, by far the most comments on, in the comments section this year. <laughs> um, let me, uh... There we go, that name. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, I will make it pretty afterwards. That is who the subscriber of the year for this season. The, as I said, these awards are just to uh, say thank you. Uh, couldn't really think of any that there wasn't really any subscribers from this year that showed as official. So I just went with that one. She has been it before, <laughs> so, yeah. Then, we have comment of the year. Help by the same person. <clears throat> um, now, for the comment of the year, it can be a uh, handy, like, a tip, or a uh, funny, something funny, or blah, blah, blah. This year, it's a tip. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm missing one. I just thought of that. I'm missing a year. <laughs> I'm missing the year before this one. <laughs> I'll fix it. Don't mind. Uh, don't. It's not the biggest. Not the end of the world. Um, it's the year of the globe. Year of the Globe. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I did put the word. Year of the Globe. Uh, cuttlefish. That is... The... Name. It was a hint on a Splatoon video. It was a tip on a Splatoon video. So, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Now let's move on. <laughs> because that was awkward. Like, extremely awkward. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Now... It's time, let's get rid of, actually no, let's keep the sign because it might need that later. Anyway, with that, it is time for the actual awards to the crew, this year it's only two of us, but to the crew, 
Uh, yeah. Me and I. That's it. Nobody else. Me and I. Only two that have done stuff this year. So, there are a total of how many awards this year? Not as many as last year. <laughs> uh, one, two. One, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twelve, abor uh, twelve awards this year. <laughs> now, we're gonna, I am gonna kick off with the one that does not have a banner, and A does not also go to us. It goes to the game of, it is the game of the season. This might be a weird one. Because you would think, oh, this is an easy one. Splatoon 2. Uh, no, that one's already game of the year. Uh, can't give it another title. I would easily give it another title, but I'm not going to. Then we're not going to be probably playing it that much this season. So, uh, depending when, uh, Splatoon 3 comes out. So, um, the, um, the win the winning game of the game, the Twitter Game of the season for season eight is is Super Mario 3D World. That is the game of the season. Hold on one sec. Okay. So, that is the game of the season. That was very awkward. I just started getting a bunch of beeps, and I don't know why. So, um, yeah. Game of the season is now done. Next are the actual awards to the crew. Which, start with... Uh, which award? <laughs> um... The most valued streamer, which we did very little of this year. <laughs> so, uh, technically we did very little of it. On this channel, did very little of it. But, on the Custom League channel, we did quite a bit of it. So, uh, it's pretty much obvious who the winner is of this one, if you go by that stat. So let's uh, go grab the banner out of here. And the winner of the Twitch Most Valued Streamer by unanimous decision is uh, me. <laughs> it's Gaming 85. It's more, more uh, official. The so, yeah, it's me, because A, uh, nobody else streamed this year a part of the group. So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to put this there. Whee! The only purple banner is now on the pole. Of mine. I did put all the awards that I won last year and the year before on hers. And I I decided not to put them on anymore. Because then I actually have banners to put on them. When we actually win stuff. Anyway. Uh, with that. Next. Uh, let's put that away. So the next. Banner, the next award, uh, let me, not that, uh, the next award, uh, for this year is the Instagram poster of the year, 
which is this one. And a winner of the Instagram Poster of the Year Award of t this season is... As you probably, you might have heard my dog bark. Is I. No, sorry, sorry. Nope, not I. Reading a different one. Is me. <laughs> There's so many awards on my on my list. I just thought I read the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Let's put that one there. Okay. Poster of the year to me. Uh, don't need this banner anymore. That was the most awkward saying of an award I've ever done. <laughs> Next award. The Friendly Picks Photographer of the Year. Uh, there's only one person in the group that's taken pictures this year. <laughs> oh boy. This one's to me as well. <laughs> I've won this every year. <laughs> like, every year I've won this one. Uh, Photographer of the Year. Um. I'm going to. <gasps> almost jump up my pillar! Good job! I'll put that one right there. <laughs> Running out of space already on my pillar. <laughs> um. Next award is the Snapchat Streaker of the Year Award. And uh, this one goes to the person that uploads the most in a row. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna quickly grab the banner. This one's obvious. It's me again! <laughs> I'm not kidding! <laughs> I'll just put that one there. And now let's put this here. And the next award is the It's the Gamer Talk Best Rages. There's only one person that this physically could go to. Because there's only been one person that's gone into Gamer Talk this year. <laughs> this is just sad. <laughs> well, it, what I mean is lost this year. Because I has been in uh, Gamer Talk this year, but I has not lost. Well, I'll take it, I haven't really lost either this year, so... Yeah, that's another award. And let's put why am I constantly doing that? Put it back, then go stand back at the spot. There we go. Okay. Next award. <laughs> the Google Group's most active member. This is a weird one. As uh well the mo I don't know why this I said that. It's not that weird. But, uh, let's quickly just, uh, grab the banner. There we go. Okay. And the winner of the Google Group's Most Active Member Award for this season and her first, technically her first award of this season, is eyes. Now, the reason why I said technically her first, uh, she won Game Nair of the Year. <laughs> Which was done at the very beginning of the show. So, um, yeah. I have to go all the way up.
There we go. Most active member. And now we jump off. <laughs> okay. Next award is the Nader World Most Dedicated Member. No, these are not different. Not at all. <laughs> of course they're different. I don't know why I uh, added this one to the list. Anyway, uh, which one is this one? Yeah. Okay, most dedicated member. The most dedicated member of season eight is her second award of the year. Technically her third is Eyes. Now let's go running back up there again. <laughs> I really should have put a staircase up when designing the stage. I will learn that for the next time we come here. If we come here again. We probably will come here again. Um. I have a weird feeling this one's already on. Nope, it's not already on her banner. On her pillar. What is... Boop. Because she don't have that one anymore. <laughs> and that's that award done. Okay. Next award is uh where we are right now is award. The <laughs> Data Servers Funniest Member Award. Uh, let me just grab it. Uh, that's this one. And the Inair Servers Funniest Member Award winner for Season 8 is once again, I. I'm pretty sure she did win this one last year. I think. I would go check underneath the seats to find out, but I never did that here. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure I never did that here. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go put this up onto her pillar, which I do want to put this on. Ah! I didn't do her pillar right. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Okay, that's better. Okay, there we go. That's done. And now we go down again. Why did I go this way? This makes no sense. I could run through this again. <laughs> Our little smoke thing <laughs> from this year. <laughs> um, next award is the. Hold on. Is the. Uh, are we to the big awards now? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. I class them between small awards and big awards. The next ones are the big awards, as, uh, well, it is the Blogger Most Valued Member, um, Discord Gamer of the Year, um, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her the, uh, tournament champion thing. Even though technically this tournament's not done, I am going to give it to her. It is this one! And, uh, yeah! Now, then we're gonna be at the big awards. This one's not a big award. <laughs> I, just, I really want to give this one out. I'm gonna give it out to her. I'm gonna put it on this side.
There we go. All done. Whee! That one's done. And now, let's grab the final two. Two more awards are left this season. And is the most valued member and the Gamer of the Year award. We are starting with the most valued member award of season eight. And this year's blogger most valued member award goes to I. I'm not joking you. <laughs> I'm not pulling on your strings. Yeah, it is I for season eight. And uh, let's put this one on the front. <laughs> okay. There we go. Done. That one's now done. Okay. Next is the Discord Gamer of the Year Award for Season 8. And after having pretty much no awards for the beginning of the award part of year-end, the winner of the Discord Gamer of the Year, and if it wasn't for her, uh, versus wouldn't really be a thing, goes to I! It is the biggest award of uh, the award part of year-end, and it goes to who is probably now the most winningest member. I would have to check her numbers between me and DJ, but um, I'm pretty sure DJ has long since been overtaken. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, he didn't really win much last year. Uh, he hasn't really won much this year. Go back on the ladder! Woohoo! Now I will fix this side. <laughs> because this one needs text. Okay, there we go. That one's not needed. That one's not needed. There we go. And that concludes the awards. And also concludes the first quarter. Right? Yep. That concludes the first quarter. And we will now head into the first pre-show break. Let's go. Okay, that will do it for the first quarter. Uh, well, that was the first quarter of year-end 21. Um, I stepped, walked away with the majority of the awards. Like, holy cow. Did not expect her getting that many awards. She did very well this year, and I think that definitely uh had an effect <laughs> uh might be more next year we will see but uh next year it might dj will probably be back in the running for the awards so uh don't know though <laughs> we don't know um 
second quarter. Uh, let's just go through the order so uh, it doesn't fully have to happen in, <laughs> at the opening of the second quarter. So the order is group, then servers, then uh, the video group, then publishing, and then the custom leagues. So, um... I know the custom leagues probably is a weird one after last year first being announced and with the uh, uh, forming of the Nair group, and now it gets its full a full um, briefing in uh, in year end uh, second uh, quarter. So that might sound a little strange, but um, I think it's probably gonna be become a regular occurrence uh that so um yeah so it's pretty cool really really excited to see what gets announced from the groups this year i'm pretty sure all of you would be too because that means a lot of it will be coming out this year so that's pretty neat that's pretty cool and um yeah uh, I, that might do it for the, uh, pre-second quarter show. Uh, well, I guess the banner raising, that was qu quite interesting. <laughs> the way that was done this year was unlike any banner raising we have done in the past. Uh, well... Uh, last year we just flew into the through the side of the building. Uh, the year before we just swam swam in via boat. So like this year we we actually popped out of the bottom of a man-made boat, which was very unique. And um, yeah, so going by time, let's head to the second quarter. Let's do do uh, the. Big part. This is this is the quarter that takes the most time to do. I will say that. So, yeah. If this video does end up, if this year's ends up being delayed like last year's, it's already been delayed by one day. If it gets delayed another day, it's gonna be because of this segment. So, hopefully everything goes well. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the second quarter of Year End 21 Element Clash. This is where everything gets announced. This year, we have a record-breaking amount of stuff getting announced in this second quarter. 40-plus items are going to get shown off today. From all, uh, pretty much all groups, excluding the development group, because they still had a bad year. Anyway, besides them, every other group is having stuff announced today. This is the biggest briefing segment uh, quarter we have ever had. And will probably be the biggest until probably next year when we top it. But with that, let's get into it. I I know I said it in uh in we said it in the pre-show the order, but I'm going to say it again. Is kicking it off is in their group, then in their servers, then the in their army video services. Briefing, and then there's the Inair Publishing Briefing, and then there's the Custom Leagues Briefing. And that will be it for this seg this quarter. But, the as I said, 40 plus items. Not even all of them are in this quarter. There is some that are in the final quarter. 
So, you will have to stay tuned to see those. But with that, let's head to the briefings in this year's year-end 21. Kicking it off with Innator Group. And with that, welcome to the Inner Group briefing of year end 21. If you aren't uh, aren't sure as to what these are, I will go through right now. This is when everything gets announced for the next year. Yes, Media Week did cover a lot of that. This is where the rest of it comes. And to this year, kicking it all off is Innator Group. And the first announcement from Innator Group this year is that the if you didn't see last year during year end we an, we announced the in the forming of the Innator Group that the custom seasons would be a part of the Innator Group and now, it is turning from the Custom Seasons to the Custom League Network. And we will talk about that a little bit more come the Custom League's um, uh, briefing at the end of this quarter. So, just stay tuned for that. It's not going to be that big, but it's going to be big. That's pretty much all I can say about that. Then, the next thing is kind of a sad thing coming this year. It is the closing of Innator Creepers. If you didn't notice in, if you didn't see the Innator Army Video Services Media Day, you saw that uh, Creepers literally pretty much lost all of its time slots. It only had one on a Saturday. Well, now it has none. As Innator Creepers is now going to be closing effective immediately. The videos will still be there, but the videos will also be uh, Ch the, well, I think it's next. Yep. This is what will happen to the series that are currently running on the Inair Creepers channel. They will merge with the Inair Army channel and with this channel you are watching this on. And we are actually adopting two of the three series currently on the Creepers channel. And that is Creepercraft and World Explorer. They are being adopted and will have all the current episodes that have aired be re-uploaded onto the channel for everyone to uh, get accustomed to the series before the next episodes air. And then beyond that, we have... The newest member of the Inner Army Roundtable, and that is I. Now, over this past year, she has helped th through with making big decisions. She, if I uh, made a big change to something, I would always tell her pretty much first. Uh, she's been the manager of this channel and. After hours for, I wanted to say, two or three years now. So, um, it makes a lot of sense to make her the, um, a part of the round table, and which is the group that makes the big decisions, and usually only the person that only gets added to it is the game leader of the year. So technically, she is a part of it no matter what. But right now, she has the most say in it. So, yeah. I is now a part of the round table, and I'm so happy that she actually is going to be a part of it. And, um, yeah. Next! 
is well I guess uh you see all the groups a part of the near group now on the screen and might as well add the new one that's been uh added sort of the custom leagues is now fully a part of the near group with now that the um uh, uh, with creepers now being completely dropped, custom leagues pretty much completely takes its place, which means a near group is currently in control of after hours, even though it is the old logo on there. I didn't notice that, but yeah, that is the old logo. It's also in control of universe, in their army, in their extra the custom leagues, in their servers. In their publishing and their develop I development, uh, I in their post and in their world dot com. That is all the group, all the different names that run under the their group. And let's I move to a sort of touchy subject. Now, we could have easily put this in the near Army, uh, briefing, but we decide to put it here. And that is some sort of sad news about, um, verses between me and I. And I will quickly just click on this. We are going to be wrapping up verses. In September, with the final two rounds, which are not recorded as of this video, they will probably be recorded after this weekend. But versus is see the versus summary splatdown will end versus on Splatoon 2 until we go into Splatoon 3. And from both me and I, this has been one of the Funny series I think me and her have ever done together. It is the only series we have ever done together. And I can't wait to see what new lengths we go to it in uh when we decide to do it uh in uh Splatoon 3. With that, that will pretty much wrap up the near group segment up of uh of uh, the briefing quarter, I, two bad things, some good things. I think the biggest blow will be that versus is coming to an end this month. There will be two rounds, and that will be it. Hopefully, I can get one <laughs> uh, out of the two. We haven't filmed them yet. I would show you a. No clip of them, but they have not been filmed yet. So, yeah. Moving on to the next briefing, and that is the Innator Servers briefing. Let's go! Well, and welcome to the Innator Servers briefing of year end. 2021 this is a big one like this is the start of the big announcements of your end I know we had some mediocre announcements in um, in uh, the last one like the end of versus the closing of creepers the uh, full adoption of the custom seasons and changing it to the custom league. But this one, without a shadow of a doubt, tops that by pretty much double. <laughs> this is the Nader Servers briefing of year end 21. And let's uh, just quickly bring it to here. Uh, this year, I know we said we'd get a bunch of stuff done this off this past year on the server. Well, we got 
so much done. Like, this for the server has been the most successful year ever. Like, it is so crazy the amount of work we've done this year. We've added more areas to the server. We've added two more cities, which we will get to later. And then, like, so much has been done this year for on the server. And I could be more proud of how the server has turned out. You can see at least one part that has been done this year, and that is uh, landscaping at Minigame Studios and the creation of the Gamer's Paradise Tower, which you saw at the beginning of year end 21. And, like, this, the server has completely exploded in size this, uh, this past year. It is crazy how much work we got done. I can't wait to see what we get done this next year. We will get to that later. We already announced with an air village that the airport on Elephant's Island will be upgraded and actually brought into the new jurisdictions for the airports. But now it is time to get into some new stuff. But before we get into that, Let's just go through an update on what was completed this year on the server.
as you saw there, we got so much done this last year on this, on the server. We got pretty much everything that we wanted to get done, done. It is so amazing that we got it all done, and I can't wait to see what we can do this year. But, let's move on, let's get to the next part, and this is where it gets crazy. As we welcome the new, the two new, as we welcome the new cities, if you didn't see earlier this year, we announced that there will be two new cities joining the Anir server, the Anir village server this uh, over the next couple years and today we are going to say what will be in those cities what will be there what will be the specialty of these places and so on and so forth so i actually had to spend a little bit of time before actually going into this because i didn't actually have the specs uh, out in front of me, so I had to write them all down. So, um, yeah. So, New Ash City, a city built in a volcano off the shore of Minigame Studios and in between, well, in between Minigame Studios and Hop Town. Is New Ash Volcano and New Ash City will be built around the volcano with a with it being able to house 100 players taking 100 of the new 200 that were added to the server if you didn't see, the server up to 400 player capacity, and New Ash will be the home of 100 of those slots. So, then we move to what will actually be in New Ash City. There is going to be Forge Medical Center, which a medical center is pretty, pretty, uh, pr pretty necessary. There's also going to be the Food Mart, which is in an air village, it's in the big picture of the server, the iconic picture. Then, there will be New Ash City Police and Fire Departments, which would make sense. There will be a City Hall, Laurel Bank, which is the bank of the American side of the server, which is uh, Nair Village, Minigame Studios, New Ash City, Hop Town, Slide Town, and Moosehead National Park, and another thing that we will be talking about later. Anyway, uh, then there's Gamers Paradise, Qu Oakland Resorts, and Quad Resorts as three hotels in New Ash. Then Molten International Airport will also be there. Then the Creeper Construction Center will be in the city also. Then, just like in in their village, there's also the Lab Protection Building, like Protection Agency. That's going to be back in this town also. There's also going to be the 5-5 Five Five and Red Rock restaurants. There's also going to be a mall. There's also going to be the Inator Army Burial Center of New Ash City. Then there's going to be a church. I loved building the church in the main city. I'm wanting to build one in every single city that we build. And I'm probably even going to put one in all the towns. Like, I love building them. Yes, in, in Slide, it probably won't go that well. But... In Ash, I'm definitely doing one, so it's on the list. Then there is going to be a sport comp complex with a slime ball slash ice ball arena, which is where our 
it which there's two currently fully built on the server uh, and last year it hosted one of them last year hosted the pre-show and after show this year it's hosting the, the other one's hosting this year's so yeah then um there's going to be a race track and an Olympic Stadium, which we will get to in a bit. That is everything that will be in New Ash City. There is quite a lot. And probably more will be added to that list as we decide what will be put in. But um, I'm really excited to start work on, this, on the mountain. Uh, on the, like... This, unlike in Air Village, where the land was already there, th this one, yes, the land's there, the mountain is there, but the volcano is not. We are building a volcano. So, we've gotten a little bit done. The picture that you're seeing is just a part of what's done. Uh, pretty much all that's done. So, let's show you a little teaser of New Ash City. Where it will be, it'll, it is starting from the whole future home of the Near Army Burial Center at New Ash City. Let's take a look at the trailer. That look cool. New Ash City is going to be one of the biggest places and most picturesque places on the server because of its scenic mountain that will be breathtaking the amount, with the amount of work that's going into it to see it all get completed one day. Will it take five years like uh, in their village talk? Uh, probably not, because I have a lot more time to work on it now. But uh, I can't make any promises. I'm going to work my work like crazy this next year, and uh, hopefully we can get it done and show it again next year. But let's move on to the second new city coming. And that is Asylerville coming in. Uh, the this one I can't wait to start work on. It is off the coast of the main city. It will be the main city of the Canadian part of the server, and it will also house the other 100 slots that were added. In, uh, in the slot editions this year. So, 100 to New Ash, 100 to Osiler, the 200 slots for a Nader village. And here, and th we have the specs for Osilerville also 
Some of them I are in French because this is meant to be a French city. I'm not going to say them as French, I'm just going to say what their uh, American counterparts are, <laughs> if they're French. Uh, so, there is Icicle Medical Center, that is, um, that is the medical center of Asylumville, that's the hospital. Uh, yeah. Then, there's going to be, um, Food Mart, which has a weird name. Then there will be a Silerville Metro Police and Ma and Maple Fire Departments. Those are going to be very interesting to build. They're probably going to be very much brick based. Um, I like out of all the buildings I've loved building in that I loved building in the main city were the um were the hospital, fire department. Uh, and police department plus the church. I loved building that. Then we also have a city hall. You have to have a city hall. There's Northward Bank, which is the Canadian bank on the server. Gamers Paradise and Oakland Resort will be the hotels in Osilerville. I might add a uh, quad to that. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Then there's Oakland Resort. I mean, sorry, I already said that. Break Check Airport, which is going to be uh, the airport at Osilerville, obviously. And um, then there's uh, the Canadian counterpart of Creeper Construction, Charged Construction. And I thought that was a good play on words because, um, well, you could charge a Creeper. <laughs> it made sense in my mind. Then there's the Foundry Protection, which is the Canadian counterpart of the Lab Protection Agency. Then there's also the Five Five and Rock Hard restaurants. Then there's also going to be a mall. Then Ministry Docks will uh, can originally be the sole connecting part between a near village. And Osilerville. Then we also will have the Nader Army Burial Center off of Silerville coming. And that will be the biggest burial center ever built. It will turn into the headquarters of Inera Army on this server. It will overtake Elephant Island because, well... Let's be honest, this one, I want it to be the main one because it is in a big city. Elephant Island's not in a big city. It will still be considered, uh, in my mind, the original thing. And, it, of course, it's the original one. But, um, yeah. So, then, uh, we have, um... Another church coming, so that will be once Asylum, New Ash are done. That will be three churches on the server. That is crazy. <laughs> and then, just like in New Ash, and just like in Inair Village, there will be a sports complex with a, with a slime ball and ice ball arena, with a racetrack and an Olympic stadium. And Osilerville definitely has a lot more than Slide Town. It is going to be, uh, I mean, New Ash. It is going to be one of the coolest builds to build on this server in the next couple of years. I can't wait to start it. And I can't wait to show you guys more about that at a later date when something's built. But... Let's uh, get to a little clip of the landing of Osilerville, because I thought I'd make it special and land on the area with a boat after the crusade, um, boat, uh, the ferry center in Inner Village opened, I decided to embark and go on an adventure to Osilerville and land. So with that, let's see that now.
Okay, so that is a Silerville landing. That it was so cool to do that. It's such a cool area. It's so nice seeing that big, ginormous, I big, um, like iceberg sitting off, and that's what makes it even more Canadian. <laughs> so. Yeah, Osilerville, I love it. It's so amazing. I can't wait to start building it. And uh, that iceberg, it will house something. So, yeah. With that, let's head to the next item in the Inert Village Briefing. And that is the Slide Down Specs. Now, this is the new, the next upcoming. Tourist destination on the server. We had to move lo its location a little bit as uh, well The the location it's in is off the highway that was originally supposed to go to Moosehead National Park well uh, And we ended up having an issue with that and we had to move Moosehead National Park to um, uh, The highway one this is... I can't even remember the highway. It's 97... It's something we're kind of, something coming up later. Anyway, Slide Town Specs. This town is gonna be crazy. Being a tourist attraction, it has to have something special. And the name Slide has a very big thing to do with that. It is a water-based town. <laughs> it will have water slides, pools, hot tubs, which uh, is going to be interesting to do. It will have launchers. It's going to have a sh the Shark Speedway, a sports stadium for slime ball and ice ball. It is going to have an Olympic stadium, a boat pool, probably more than one, water sprays all throughout. The Raft Airport, Gamers Paradise, Quad Resort, and Oakland Resort. It is going to be crazy to build. Like, the Snowball Mountain was crazy. Yeah, this one's jumping past that. This one's going to be even crazier. I can't wait to start building Slide. There's not really much out there, but if it, just in case you forget... Where I'm talking about, if you didn't see last year, here's the clip of it right now. This is where Slide Town will be right off of pretty much where Hub Town is, and yeah, Hub Town Memorial. So let's uh, let's go. <laughs>
Okay. So, that is Slide Town. Looks amazing. I absolutely will love building it. And, uh, like, this, I can't wait to start it. Like, I know I've said that for all three. I honestly can't. I, I'm so, I love building the cities on the server. It's my number, it's my pride and joy to build things. I love building. And this is, this is my calling. This is what I like. I'm going to be building two new big cities and one new town. And like, I can't ask for much more. <laughs> now, moving on from the spec stuff, that stuff was big and took a lot of time. Uh, that, there. Now let's get to the other stuff. Now, other than the fact that we're upgrading the airport and adding hotels to an air village because of the new cities, Highway 1 between Inner Village and Hop is getting an upgrade. Highway 1 and the 97 qu corridor through Colossus, uh, uh, Mount Colossus, are being upgraded. If you haven't seen that highway, it is a mess. Here is a clip of it. Absolute mess. It is two lanes, then when it gets to Colossus, it is one lane, and then the I don't even want to talk about the airport area. That's an entire mess. That will and you might be wondering, are am I gonna be building above the airport? I uh, do. No. no, I'm doing the stupider idea. I'm building underneath it. Yep, you heard me correctly. There is going to be a tunnel underneath Crescent International Airport. And once that's done, then we will also do the Colossus, uh, Mount Colossus Pass through uh, on the 97, which is uh, the 97 Corridor. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. To work on it, like I've already been kind of mapping out the area and how low we're actually gonna have to go, because it's also a river that runs through the airport. Yeah, we gotta go underneath that too. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Now you might be wondering, will the airport be completely off limits when uh, the construction's going on? Uh no. Um, yes, the Highway 197 uh, connector will be closed. Um, as, well, it's going to be hard to get to it. 
but we will make a f like a dirt uh patch around the construction site to get to the airport still. So uh, to and from, so that will still the airport will still be accessible. Highway one and ninety seven, not so much. Um, <laughs> uh, so we will have a alternate route, like a detour route, set up from Highway 1 to get to, uh, 97. It, you can do it. It just takes going through, uh, the suburbs and going through, um, to, uh, pretty much right at Game Town Bridge, which comes to here. And then you go the other way, you just go the opposite way of here, you you go inland and not water. <laughs> so, that will, would get you past all the construction. So, with that Highway 1 upgrade, can't wait to start it. It's going to be a pain in the butt. And that will be this year's big, ginormous project. Signs are already up on the server about the project. If you didn't see it on the clip, they were the red signs. The red boards, they were just covered up with black, uh black banner so you can see the signs so um yeah highway one upgrade can't wait to start it it's gonna be a pain in the butt but it's definitely necessary because i don't like moving llamas through that area it is so so bad this will make it a lot lot more user friendly and uh, i'm probably also gonna redo a little bit of the airport uh road area also so yeah that's the highway one upgrade Let's move on. Now, I loved building Snowball Mountain. Loved it. It's still technically not complete. The village is not done. That will be completed this year. I could guarantee that. But, I have decided, with a joint decision between me and I, that... I, we will be adding another mountain, another ski mountain, to the server, and that is Stardust Mountain. You are seeing two of the three peaks at Stardust, uh, close to completion. Completion. One is done. One is close. Uh, doesn't have the back or sides done. But yes, I said three peaks. And you might be one. You might be. You're probably asking the computer, "What are the three peaks at Stardust?" Well, the first peak, the main peak, the one you were seeing that has the chairlift going up it already, is Kit Kat Peak. Then there's the one that is not done but is close to being done. That is Colossus Peak. And then the peak that has not even been started yet is the Olympic Peak, and that is called the Momomo the bleh, the Memorial Peak. Those three peaks will make up the Stardust Mountain Range, and those that mountain range will be Stardust Mountain Resort. It will have a village. It will have Olympic stadiums in it. But it is going to be a big. Uh, it is a big undertaking. It is in the uh, new um, Moosehead National Park Zone. So, that will also start gang development this year. I promise you that. And uh, let's, uh, I guess, go to the next thing. Uh, well, actually, no, no, no. Let's show you the mountains so far. Let's show you it. I will show you uh, the. I will talk about Moosehead a little bit later. Let's uh, go, let's show you Stardust. <laughs>
is Stardust Mountain. It is going to be beautiful when it is complete. It is already looking so nice. Yes, it's in a little bit of a weird location, but it's gonna look really, really, really nice when it's complete. I can't wait to complete it and show it off again. I'm aiming to get it done for the anniversary so I could show it off there. So, yeah. With that, let's head to the next item, and that is the horse rental at the Crescent Airport. With new two new cities coming, people traveling via air won't have horses to travel around the city. Comes plan B of me being stupid and not thinking about this at first. The horse rental complex, which will be right behind my old house, uh, right beside the industrial district. So that is where it'll be. It's going to be there. It's going to have three rental centers, and it, you could take a shuttle from uh, the airport to there. So, um, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be nice to see um, uh, the horse rentals there because I will say that area is a little bit bare, especially since that one river uh, dried up. Uh, still don't know how that happened. Anyway, uh, that will be coming very soon. Um, I'm definitely going to give you guys an update on that uh, later in uh, the year. That's for sure. We might even build those on stream. I, I don't know. Because I definitely want to bring back streams this year. A couple. <laughs> I didn't do any this past season. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next item. And that is... Uh, the expand The new expansion timeline! Expansion 2 of Season 2 is the Slip and Slide expansion. And that will be the, um, that will be Slide Town. That is releasing March 16th this, uh, next year. And I'm hoping I can get the town done on time. I don't think I will, but I, I'm going to at least attempt to. That Expansion 3 of Season 2. The Olympics expansion will release on August 8th, 2022. I could have easily moved this one to the second one and made the other one the third one. Because there's a Winter Olympics coming this winter. But the Olympic stuff is the furthest out stuff. <laughs> other than that, well, I say that, but the slip inside is also really far out. But, um, I set the Olympics expansion for August 8th. That is actually where the Olympics that just happened happened. <laughs> like that's when it that's when they started. Then it is confirmed I then we have expansions of season 3 will be coming in 2023. Now, I know I had names for them, I couldn't remember them, so I just put Expansion 1 of Season 3, Expansion 2 of Season 3, and Expansion 3 of Season 3, and you're hearing it now, there is going to be a fourth Expansion Season, the final Expansion Season, and there is one currently lock, uh, getting thought up, and there will obviously be two more. So, um... Yeah, that is the new expansion timeline. It keeps changing. What well, I said, season four is the last one. There's probably going to be a season five. So, yeah. Moving on. From the expansion timeline. Probably stuff including the... Yeah. So, this is the first expansion of season three. The campgrounds at Moosehead National Park. This is where Moosehead is. You've got Grad Lake, you've got the big river, which has not been named yet. And the campgrounds will be built all around it. It will look beautiful when it's over. Moosehead 
Mount Moosehead, the big hill thing that will be built, will be getting built later this year so we can actually start construction on the actual campgrounds and stuff because that, they do hinder on that. So, um, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to want to do that though. So, the campgrounds, I can't wait to start. I always usually, I like, I used to camp all the time and I can't wait to be able to camp on the server in, I'm probably going to build myself a cabin, but I can't wait. And it's a stone's throw from snow, from Stardust Mountain, which you can see in the, in the very one, in the uh, left hand corner of the picture, you can see Stardust, uh, the Stardust range coming into shot. So, um, yeah. Then, moving on from the campgrounds to the Olympic Parks. You've heard me talk about these. Now, I just want to say where they all are. Uh, I can't say what's in them because I don't know what's going to be in them yet. So, the picture you're seeing is the sort of abandoned uh, Olympic Park project in the main city. Then, as I said earlier, there will be an Olympic Park in uh, in New Ash, Osceiler, and Slide. There's also, and Stardust, there's also going to be an Olympic Peak plus Park at Snowball Mountain, Elephant Island, Hot Town. Pretty much, if it's a town on the server, it's gonna have an Olympic Park built into it. It will grow our towns. It will, like, even here we'll have one. It will grow the towns. It will make it so much nicer. They will be so big by the time all this is done. I can't wait. And now, moving on to the next thing. The big thing. You saw the teaser earlier this year. In the year war, MC is coming. When we first made a Nader village, our goal was to make in a joint server project. That was the main goal. In Nader War and in Nader Village to complete the storyline. In Nader War is coming. N yes, it is over a year away, but um, in Nader War is coming, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. We have a teaser. Well, I guess I should show the teasers of the previous stuff that we showed, anyways. So, like, uh,. Let's uh, show the campgrounds teaser and Olympic Parks teaser. Well, I guess the I'm not really going to show a teaser of those, I guess. Yeah, let's just show the big main trailer of A Day of War, MC.
How cool was that? Inator War. The new big project of the team, aka Project 4GB! But I think there is a much better way of talking about this project than me standing on this really state-of-the-art stage. So let's do the right thing and let's do it at the at the spot that I'm thinking of. Welcome to Nader War. This feels much better. This feels more like it. This is a proper place to announce this server fully. I think this is a makes for a great location. Now the place behind me looks kind of familiar, don't it? I know we've been here before, but it looks so familiar, doesn't it? It is copied one by brick by brick of Hubtown Memorial on the Anir Village server. Other than the fact that there's the error, the chunk error behind it. Anyway, uh, ignore it. Simple. Ignore that chunk error. But, with this, we have some stuff about Anir War to talk about. And that is the towns. There's gonna be four towns in the American side and three towns in the Canadian side. In the American side, there is Hubtown, Nairtown, Acacia Town, and Hot Town. All per now, Nader, Hub, and Hop. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Hop is the past version of Hop, uh, town in, uh, in the Inair Village server. Same with Inair Town. That is the small version of Inair City on, uh, this server, uh, on the m main server. Hub Town, well, it's Hub Town. It's not the memorial. It's Hub Town. Anyway, Acacia is brand new, and let's show a little sneak preview at the Acacia town on the server. It looks stunning. <laughs> Is Acacia it is pretty much around the corner from here. It's so cool. It's it was so fun to build that one. Every town is pretty much built off the same system. 
It is, they all have the exact same thing. Some are bigger than the others. So, um, yeah. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Uh, like, in Nader Town is the, and Hub Town are the two big towns on the American side. Frostbite will be the big town on the Canadian side. Iceberg and Wolf will probably be pretty small. They have not been built yet. I would show you them, but they have not been built yet. That's why this server is still over a year away. <laughs> anyway, uh, then the battlefields have not been built yet. So, yeah. That is all the stuff that... The ones lined in green, those are not done. <laughs> the yellow are done. So, let's move on from the towns to something that you would think wouldn't be figured out by now. But for me, yeah, I've already figured this out. This is my team. This is the Inator Army on the Inator War server. We have our base names. We have our naval fleet ship names. And you might be wondering how the naval fleets are going to be uh, possible. Well, they're just going to be big, ginormous man-made ships and sitting in the water and they just shoot things at each other. Simple! And if they want to go fight each other, they just go in uh, normal dinghy boats and then go swimming against each other. Simple! Okay. Then, we have... Uh, I'll just go through the bases right, right now. So, we have Trickster Base, Hammerhead Base, Fort Kit Kat, Iceberg Base... Elephant Air Base, and Colossus Naval Base. Those are the bases that I am, that my, the main bases that my team will use. Trickster is the main one. A close second is Fort Kit Kat along with Hammerhead. And, uh, na the Naval Base is pretty much self-explanatory. That one's going to be on the water. Uh, dang, there's probably going to be another Naval Base added to the list to uh, help one, like, that one's obviously going to help one of the naval fleets. The other one's, the other one's a sitting duck. <laughs> anyway, then we have the outposts. Ev both sides have three outposts, six bases, and they have ginormous fleets. The base, uh, for my outpost, I went with Snake Outpost, Ewok Outpost, and Struck Outpost. And they are at the battlegrounds. Now, I would tell you where those are, like, what battlegrounds they are at, but they are not even built yet. The battlegrounds aren't even built yet. So, yeah. The bases are kept pretty secret, so... I don't know if I'd show you those. Then, we have the Phoenix Naval Fleet. That is the smaller of the two naval fleets that my team will have. It will have the Guardian, the France, the Pacific, the Coyote, the Blazer, and the Beacon Mark I. That is the Phoenix Naval Fleet. It is huge! <laughs> uh, well, it's six ships. The other one is seven. <laughs> Which is the 2020, the illustrious, the Odin, the Conqueror, the Orion, the Camper Down, and the Beacon Mark II. Those are all my ships and bases going into a near war. Now, will I build them on camera? Probably. Um. Will I tell you where they are? Probably not. In case anyone wants to go blow them up. I'm not going to do that. Then, moving on from the bases to nothing. <laughs> there. Now, the other side is the Onyuma on on, on army, which uh, the green and yellow flag is my group. The white Red and black flag is the Onunuma 
Uh, yeah, I can't say it. I don't know why I made it, picked a name for uh, the uh, opposing force that I can't even say. <laughs> yeah, that is the opposing force. It's a pretty big one. And, uh, yeah. That will do it for the Inair Servers briefing of year end 21. This one is probably the biggest of them. Uh, there, I will say Inair Army is still big, but this one's probably the biggest. Uh, it's time now for video services to take the stage. Not this one, the main one. And so let's switch gears back to an air village. And uh, yeah. Welcome to the Nair Army video services. <sighs> Briefing of year end 21. This one is decent size. Now, I wouldn't say it's as big as the last one. <laughs> but, it is a decent size briefing uh, compared to the last one. That last one was ginormous. This one's decent sized. Near Army, this is the stuff that you guys will see throughout this year and the pre years after. I just noticed that this is the wrong logo. That's the old one. I'll fix it for next year. I'm not changing it. <laughs> anyway, with that, let's move to the first thing that Innator Army is showing off this year. And that is... The new... thumbnail System! This year, we're introducing the Creation Lab. That is where these uh, thumbnails and banner designs have been made. The Creation Lab is our new way of making thumbnails and banners. The, the first, let's talk about the banner system. The new banner system will uh, have three banners this year. I know that's a little weird, but there is a red banner, which is one you are seeing right now. There's a black banner and a gray banner. And same thing goes for the icons, which are pretty generic, but they are nice. Now, will these banners stay forever now? Probably, I actually really like these ones. Just, we might tweak the design a little bit. Like, for year 10, we're probably going to add the X to them. So, uh... An, well, an X to them. <laughs> And, um, then, let's switch to the thumbnail. The new thumbnail system is so, so cool. It, it plays off of a new icon system. Every series will have an icon. Which we will get to in a little bit. But, I think the big, big takeaway from this is... Each video will now have a number on the thumbnail. On the um, test one, the concept one, you see a one. Marking for episode one of a series. It's so cool. We will, sh I will show, we will be showing some examples of that thumbnail system throughout this briefing. And... You see the weird yellow? Well, that was just put there so it doesn't, uh, mash, uh, with, uh, yeah, the background. That is gonna be a picture of the game. And then, in front of that will be the title of the game. So we are still gonna have the logo of the game on each thumbnail. But we will also have a picture of the game on each thumbnail. So, yeah. It's going to be really nice. I really like what we've done with it. And I can't wait to uh, show you guys uh, what they will look like next season. Which we do have a couple designs in this uh, briefing later on. 
I think next. Which, speaking of next, let's move to the next item. And that is... Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion! And you know how I said you'd see, um, the design of, for the, it later on in this briefing? Well, here it is! This is Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, which is coming this premiere month! Joining Pirate, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean! This premiere month as the new to the two brand new series I would show a teaser of this uh, I could I was going to film it for this I ran out of time and so yeah I didn't don't have a teaser for it um, I have been told by I that it is a lot more difficult I can't wait to try to actually jump into Octo Expansion this fall and I'm going to try and blow through it pretty fast. <laughs> but I I know it's longer than uh, the Splatoon 2 story mode but I don't want to be continuing with Splatoon 2 stuff when Splatoon 3 comes out. Which is 2022. So, um, yeah. With that, Let's, uh, jump to the next item. And I can't really remember what it is. Oh, the icons! Here are the new icons for the uh, next season. Some of them. On the one side, we have the After Hours icons. And on the other side, we have the Nader Army icons. Let's start with one side. On this, on the After Hours icons, there are two that are shown here. One is the actual After Hours icon, and then there's the Red Dead Redemption 2 icon, which will be returning this fall to After Hours, along with videos to After Hours. <laughs> then... Um, on the Nair Army side, those are the new icon. Those are icons of three series. The Nair Army original icon, which will be on original series, like in Nadercraft, something coming up later. In Nader's server series, like anything that we make, like our own things, they will be using those icons. Then, we have the Avengers game icon and the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion icon. I was thinking of doing a Guardians of the Galaxy icon on here, but I decided against it. Last minute. Um, so, yeah. Jump in might use uh, the Innator Army one. I don't know. I might do like an arrow. I don't know, though. We will see. But, uh... Those are the icons. I love the new system we're using. Like, the Creation Lab is cause uh, making us be able to do so much more that we weren't able to do before. It's so awesome. It's so amazing. And I can't wait to do more with it. Now, moving on. The next Innator Army original series is the Underground. Taking full advantage, we are taking full advantage of the new upcoming cave system in Minecraft. Instead of having ma, like cows, sheep, and uh bunnies and and stuff roaming. We have creepers, zombies, spiders all roaming around underground against us. It is going to along with like 
completely forgot about skeletons. But, like, it is crazy. The Underground is going to be the craziest series this year. And it is coming this premiere month. It is going to be crazy. I can't wait to start it. I can't wait to film the first episode. And here's a quick teaser of the underground. That is the underground. It is so cool looking. It is gonna be so amazing. It is pretty much an inner craft style series. It is gonna be fun. It's gonna be amazing. We do have to build some stuff in it so we I don't die. We need food. So, um, it's probably just gonna be a one year series as Raid Island is coming. That's right, Raid Island is coming. It's not this year. We didn't make it that as far as I would have wanted to, but we did make it decently far. But if Underground does do well, we will probably bring it back as a yearly thing and just change what cave we are in. Then, let's move on to the next one. Innatorcraft Season 2 gets... A big update 
in addition with Raid Island in full conjunction with it, in Naircraft Season 2 is welcoming the Raid Zone. Right off the swamp and desert areas. The Raid Zone is going to be the craziest part of Season 2 ever that we've added so far. Now, I've s I said so far, in Naircraft Season 2, I have really enjoyed. I don't expect to end it anytime soon. <laughs> I love it, it's so fun, it's so uh, fun just building the building the base right now. I know I haven't built it in a while because of timing issues and stuff, but I hope this fall I will be able to get the base fully done. I need one more episode to do it, that's why it's taking so long, because it's going to take so long to get that base done. It's going to take like two days to get the base done. Like, I can't wait to do the Raid Zone. I can't wait to be in there. Um, and I will explain that later, but um, for right now, I'm not going to. But, let's move on from an aircraft Season 2 to something that needs an update. Raid Island! A big project we announced last year. That was, all, was already long into production, is still in production. Raid Island version 1 is now set for a season 10 release. I can't wait for season 10 now. Raid Island is getting so close, and here is an update on what has happened and...
Last year, the outline wasn't in. This year, the outline is fully complete. Now, we just have to build it up and build it down into the water because I just built that at a random height. So, next season, next season, season 10, be expecting Raid Island at year end 22, the official trailer, and I can't wait to start it next fall. That, well, not this fall, but n fall 2022. I cannot wait. I honestly can't. Raid Island, I can't wait for it to come. But, let's move on. And that will actually conclude the Nair Army Video Services Media Day this year. We got a lot done this year. Um, a lot is coming this uh, season. I can't wait for Raid Island. It's going to be a very exciting series to do. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, let's head to... Inator Publishing is next. Let's head to it. Welcome to the Inator Publishing Briefing of Year End 21! This one... And now I... Well, hold on. Um, before I say this one, uh, let's take a step back. Uh, I said there was only pretty much big ones, uh, left. Uh, nope! This one's small! This one's small as heck! <laughs> um, yeah. The Nair Publishing is probably the smallest one. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, so, let's just get started. It's the smallest. I'm okay with that. The last two were huge. <laughs> well, the last one, the, even the Nair Army has nothing to do, uh, has, uh, didn't come anywhere close to as long as the Nader servers. That one was ridiculous. But let's uh, let's get started with Nader publishing. There's not a lot here, and after this one, it's custom link. So yay! Two briefings to go until pre-show break. Woo! -hoo! Anyway, let's go. First thing. Mystery of Time has been paused. It's it um it's a really hard decision to make. It, like it was a really really difficult decision to make. Um to pause uh Mystery of Time. I didn't want to pause it, but I had to pause it. Um it just it we just we didn't uh we don't we want to move our focus to the Nair Army series, getting Darkness Storm back on point, and uh, then working on Infection and and Apocalypse, the Breakout, um, Breakout Badlands, uh, so we could move on with this series. I really want to do that. I really want to do Mystery of Time. I think it'll be an amazing one. I at least want to get book one done. Just it's not looking promising right now. So, along with Mystery of Time being paused, we've also paused Stranded. Now, this is the name of the first book of the Stranded series. Stranded on Fire Island has been officially paused. Hasn't even started the planning phase, so I'm not upset about this one at all. <laughs> but I think it is going to be a fun one to make when I uh, when I ever get to it. So uh, I can't wait to work on it when I do get to it. But for right now, Stranded on Fire Island has been paused. And now moving on to the next thing. I told you this one was fast. The Inair Army Darkness Storm is back in production! 
and we were aiming to get it done uh, this year. Uh, well, I my goal is to have a release date by the anniversary. I'm aiming to get a release date by then, or at least out by then, and to have it in my hands. This one, I want to get done. I've been working on this book for so long. It is such a big... It's such a good storyline. I want to get it done. And the sooner I get this one done, the sooner I can go to Infection. And I know Infection's gonna be a big one. And I... I's looking forward to that one because it's a big part of her character's story. Uh, so, I can't wait to get working on this series again. This year, we are back with In-Air Publishing. And Darkness Storm will hopefully be out by the end of 21-22. Hopefully by the end of 2021 it will be done. I doubt it will, but hopefully. <laughs> anyway... Moving on from that, um, if you saw the teaser on, uh, Media Day, uh, with the Air Publishing, uh, you would have saw that we teased a partnership, a joint project between Inair Publishing and the Inair Village server, which is where we are. The project, the joint project has something to do with Slide Town. What is coming is a themed, like, as Inair Army books come out, like, the Inair Army series books come out, a part of each book will be taken and built a part of Slide Town, a very special, like, either pool or water slides or stuff. Or launchers or sprayers, they will be there. It will be so cool to do. It will be so much fun. There even might be stuff here at Mini Game Studios and the mini games. Like, it is gonna be fun to see what we can come up with between both groups to make Inair Publishing fully a part of the Nader server family. And now, I'm pretty sure that is actually it. Yep, that is it. <laughs> I told you this one was fast. I told you. We are done. <laughs> and we are moving on to the custom leagues. I can't wait to see what uh, comes out of this joint project. And uh, that will be in due time. With that, let's head to the custom league. And let's wrap up the second quarter. That's taken over like two hours to film. So I'm hoping this part isn't two hours alone. <laughs> Welcome to the final briefing of year end 21. Welcome to the custom league briefing. Now, this might sound kind of weird. This is probably on par with an air village. <laughs> Stuff getting in there. Now, I just, I squished them into the smallest slides, so there's not that many slides, and there's pretty much no trailers in this one either. But, um, there's a lot to talk about. So, the Custom League, if you do not know what this is, uh, you're living under a rock. I talk about it mm, a decent amount. Uh, well, not that much. Expect me to start talking about it a little bit more because I've started putting a lot more work into it. The Custom League is what I do pretty much every single night. I'm not kidding. Like, I won the Most Valued Streamer Award. Yeah, this is why. I stream... Every single game of a of the laser season in the custom leagues CSL every single night, which season eight wraps up this next week on Tuesday on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. 
Wednesday. I can't wait. I honestly can't. The cus the custom league is actually growing though. Which is weird to say, but yes, it is growing. That is why we have this this year. So uh let's uh first things first get to the changing of the name. So Custom League is no longer going to be Custom League. It's going to be the Custom League Network. New logo? Old logo. Well, you're not seeing what I'm pointing at, but there's a new logo and an old logo. The old logo is the CL, the new logo is the CLN. Which was really hard to do. <laughs> because I was wanting to kind of go by what, um... The, like, big sport groups have, like, TSN and ESPN have, like, a line at the top, and I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it a little fresh, and Sportsnet was just too crazy. <laughs> so, I might change it, but this is currently what the Custom League Network logo will look like. And that'll be the logo you see with throughout this briefing. So, moving on from there, we have some changes. With one of the leagues in one of the league systems in the CLN, and that is the CSL. This this one is the one that I love. This this is what I take pride and joy over. The custom season league is in the NHL games now. It will have a new logo, uh, along with the Player Association, which I just decided to add, as, uh, well, we will get to that in a bit. Um, the old CSL logo, I whipped up really fast, I didn't really like it. I love the new one. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you can probably tell which one was whipped up fast and which one looks a like a thousand times better. I went off what um the league where I live looks like, like their logo, and I made it sort of our own, and uh, then and also use like what the MLB does and NBA does. The NHL doesn't do it, but now I do it. And the player association, I think that's really cool. We have a forward on or the uh a skater. On the actual league logo. And then. On the player association. We have a goalie. I found that kind of neat. <laughs> so um. Yeah. Now. With this. There is some changes to the CSL. That has to be addressed. There. As of next season. There will be 40 teams. In the CSL. 32 teams will compete for the Leaf Cup. 8 teams will compete for the Bison Bowl. All 40 teams will face each other, though, during the regular season. The salary cap... We do have a salary cap coming into effect for Season 9. Uh, because I've noticed some teams, as I've been taking note uh, for the next game... Uh, like, raw shrewd notes. Um, some teams are very much over the cap. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you would think when, um, you're creating a team, it would, um, say that it wouldn't allow a team to be over the cap, but no, no. Quite a few teams are over the cap. Like, quite a bit over. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, we are changing the name of the Dynasty Draft, and that is becoming the Breakaway Draft, which I think sounds better than the Lights Division, which I, I didn't really like the name. That is turning into the Bright Division. That is the Central Division, technically. Um, and, uh, new division alignment, we will get to the Bright Division in a bit then. And there is eight new teams. Now you might be thinking, well, there's 40 teams. Of course there's eight new teams. Well, 
the eight teams competing for the Bison Bowl, some of them were, um, yanked because, uh, well, financial issues and not having a proper arena. So, uh, yeah. That's why, uh, there's eight new teams. Uh, well, some, the, any team that was cut from the main league that will compete for the the main 32 that will compete for the Leaf Cup. They're still in. They're just competing for the Bison Bowl. So let's just um, get to that. The new division alignment. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Big issue. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So that end part. I'm probably going to cut that out. Um, I was saying that it was the division alignment. Next. No, it's introducing the eight new teams. <laughs> Oops! So, the eight new teams coming to the city of SL in Season 9 are as follows. The Kansas City Scouts. Now, I did a tournament and this one made it really far. This one is actually going to be a part of the main 32 teams. I can't wait to see them. I've done some uh, jersey work uh, with them to see what they might look like on the ice. Um, what I came up with uh, looks so very close to a certain NHL team that I don't want to have a, like a jersey that's completely ripped off from them. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, the concept work of a jersey that I made for them. Uh, yeah, it looked exactly like Montreal's, uh, reverse retro, and their alternate looked exactly like their main jersey, so, uh, yeah, uh, probably not gonna stay that way, I'm just saying, that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, then, next team, the Left Bridge Oilers, which is also joining the main 32. This one... It, yeah, um, I don't really know how I'm going to do the jerseys yet. I think I've figured out how I'm going to do the alternate, but not the main jerseys. Uh, I, I don't want to have them too close to Edmonton, and I just want them to be like, norm, like their own name and stuff. But uh, that would be a little difficult. So, that's Bridge Oilers. Uh, if you're wanting to, uh, you should say this, if you're wanting to see what these teams look like uh, when they're done, uh, go subscribe to the Custom Season League on YouTube, and in the weeks going to Season 9, I will be uploading videos, it'll be the first ever videos on that channel that I actually talk, that I will actually be, um, Say their additions, their subtractions, they're showing their jerseys for next season, and pretty much everything that you need to know about each and every team going into season nine. And now, moving from Left Bridge to a team that has been in decent amount of times, I just keep taking them out and bringing them back in. The Nymo. The Nanaimo Pirates are going to be joining the Big 32, as I'm going to probably call them. Uh, the main 32 teams will be now consisting of Nanaimo, Lethbridge, and Kansas City. And this team, I've tried like four, three times. If this time it fails, I'm just going to scrap it all together. <laughs> but, um... This team, it I've done, well, I can't really say I've done concept work. I've gone back to the old pictures that I have of the team. And I've just made their old jerseys. <laughs> now, you might say, that seems kind of repetitive. Mm, yeah, but I really, like their jer I really liked their old jerseys, so that's why I'm keeping them. So, now, next team is... The Hamilton Tigers, which will be one of the strongest teams in the CSL 
next season. This will be a main team. It will be a part of the 32. For it will be the uh, Leaf Cup contender. But going into next season, there's going to be four, in my view, juggernaut teams. This is one of them. Then um, the next team coming is the Brooklyn Sharks. I've always wanted to stick a team in New York. I have before. I stuck the uh, New York Apples in the original couple seasons uh, when there was also Pittsburgh and stuff. And I just, I didn't like the look of the team. The team didn't really look that nice. Um, I've done concept work for this team. Eh, this team looks really, really, really sharp. I can't wait to actually complete this team and uh, see them on the ice against my team next season. Probably play them off out of the system anyway, also. So, uh, moving on from Brooklyn to Prague. This will be the expansion team in uh, the next system. The Prague Scorpions. I don't really know the color the coloring that would be in the game. This is the coloring outside of the game. Uh, some teams their coloring outside of the game isn't the same as the coloring inside the game. Uh, Toronto is a very good example of that. So, <laughs> as Toronto in-game is more gray, outside they're more blue. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, that is Prague. And I'm pretty sure that rounds out the rest of the teams coming in to the main 32. If I'm correct. Yep. As Victoria is not a part of the main 32. This one is a part of the Bison Bowl crew. As the Victoria Islanders is one of the... F isn't it like the only one that I'm adding in? In, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I think it's the only one getting added out west that's in the Bison Bowl contention. And the idea of the Bison Bowl is these teams, the eight teams in there, are battling to get back into the CSL at a future date. So, um, yeah. I thought that was a neat way of doing it. Um, so... Moving on to the next team. Yeah, uh, that was the only one. Uh, the Detroit Fuel, which I could have named this team anything else other than Fuel. I could have named it Motor. I could have named it um, and, uh, anything to do with a car. And I could have named this one. Detroit Fuel. It makes sense. <laughs> um... They will be a part of the eight, obviously. I the Bison eight teams battling for a spot in the next reset of the CSL. I can't wait to see them. If they do ever make it in, I can't wait to see what they'd look like. Obviously, we will still face them in the CSL, just not as not really for points. It's just gonna be like a fun game. So um, I do a lot of those, like chill relaxing games. I still don't relax in them, but I, yeah. Like, all the special games in a season, yeah, those are, those are in the main system. Those are, are really for points. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next team. Oh, that's it. Okay. So there's one in each. I thought there was more. Anyway. Here is the, the new divisional alignment for the CSL in Season 9. I think you can tell. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, now, there's the Bright, North, York, and Euro that are competing for the Leaf Cup. Then Miles and River are competing for the Bison Bowl. So, let's start with the Bison Bowl teams. The Bison Bowl teams are consisted of the Ogopogo, the Wild, the Bears, and the Islanders in the West. Then, 
uh, in the Miles Division in the West. And then in the East, there is the Titans, the X's, the Pats, and the Fuel in the River Division. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. <laughs> then, we move to the big teams. The Big 32. Break division. The brand new, the renamed division. The central division, sort of, because that's pretty much where all the teams are. Has the Cowboys, Roller Coasters, Astros, Hawk Needle, Oilers, Blues, Scouts, and Whistles. That is the break for Season 9 and onward. Then the North is the Lasers, which is my team. Tanks, Crusaders, Whalers, Railway, Beast, Pirates, and Crossers. Now the Whalers might look new. Uh, the Killer Whales, that's what they used to be called. Um... I thought that was too long, so I'm renaming them Whalers. I'm giving them a new logo, and you will see that in the days going up to season nine on the big, on uh, the custom league uh, season channel, or custom season league channel. Um, then the York Division, the Senators, the Flames, the Arctic Knights, the Penguins, the Rangers, the Tigers, the Capitals, and the Sharks. The New York is pretty much a mix of the Atlantic and the Metropolitan of the NHL, as I just mushed them, so I ha could have a European League <laughs> division, and I love the European division, it's it's uh, so much fun putting the teams over there, um, and this year we will have the Traders, Lions, Flyers, Ancients, Elks, Scorpions, Thunder, and Sailors in the European Division. Oh boy. <sighs> that's a lot of teams. Now you might think that's a lot of teams. Well. I hate to blow out. Uh, stomp on your parade. Of uh, saying that's all. That's it. Uh, that's not it. <laughs> that's a lot of teams. That's not like yes, that it does have the most teams out of the three leagues. Yes, I said three. There's two new leagues. Um, let's get to those right now. There is now the custom league baseball uh, league, which consists of thirty teams. Season 1 is currently happening, and I can't, I don't know who is going to win this, uh, the, the CLB, uh, title this year. I do control the team. I control the Thrashers. And, uh, now in the game, they don't actually call them the Thrashers, they call them the Tycoons, but I call them the Thrashers. They are the Thrashers to me. Like, there are so many teams, like, this league is so new, I don't want to say the teams yet, like, where divisions are, uh, like, if it becomes that big of a thing, yeah, that'll be next year, but, uh, it's not that big of a thing yet, I do have a lot of teams in Canada, I will say that, uh, so, yeah, then, moving on to the other new league, a custom basketball league, 36 teams. It's bigger than the baseball league, uh, the custom league baseball. Um, but uh, it's not bigger than the CSL, but it feels a lot worse than the CSL. So this one might not last that long. I'm at least gonna complete season one on it. Season one has start is going on right now. Um, but yeah, 36 teams, I didn't really do that well making the teams, that's what, like, that's why I'm saying that I might scrap this all together, or I just might redo the teams. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's all those, and I think that's it. No, yep, yeah, that's it. So, with that, that is 
going to conclude the second quarter, the briefing quarter, and now we head to the pre-show back at Red Rock Place, oh, pretty much across the street. I will see you later as we will break down everything that's happened. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the pre-show after the second quarter. That felt like it took like three hours to film. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it, it literally felt like it took hours. It so long. Well, the longest part was uh, the servers. That took the longest. Like, I won't lie to you. That one took the absolute longest time to do. And, um... Like... At least we're going into the quick part now. There's not much left. Uh, there's... Yeah, not much at all left. I uh, left this, uh... This year! Like... Let that sink in for a little bit. There's not much left in this season. Season 8 is almost over. We're almost into Season 9. Like, as soon as this video ends, we enter the, the, um, the cooldown period between the seasons. Then it's Season 9. Oh my god, how crazy is that? It's nuts! Um... I can't, I, I, like, Underground is probably the biggest thing that came out of this, uh, area, um, other than, uh, Versus coming to an end. Um, so much is, so much happened in this part. Like, I know, uh, a lot of you probably are gonna be bummed out by Versus coming to an end, but, uh, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it coming to an end, I, I really love this. I honestly really love this. Obviously, love the series game. Uh, me and I love filming it together, and uh, just it's in uh, both of our best interests to uh, call it a day on it uh, before um, uh, Splatoon Three comes, so we could probably just rework. Before, um, season, before Splatoon 3 comes out. I think I said season 3. Well, it's Splatoon 3. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, we don't even know when it's coming out yet. Uh, so, I'm still gonna do Octo Expansion. Um, I'm gonna aim to get that done before the next game. Uh, kind of like I'm aiming to get, uh, Force Wiggins done before, uh, Skywalker Saga comes out. Uh, I definitely have more time to do that now. Uh, it's been delayed. <laughs> to, uh... Spring! And now we don't even have a date. Just spring. <laughs> it's been over a year! <laughs> like, honestly, it's crazy! Like, it's absolutely nuts. <laughs> um... Uh, so, uh, New Ash City and Osilerville, uh, the amount of stuff going into those, <laughs> honestly, I'm worried that it's gonna take, like, ten years for both of them, <laughs> but, uh, I don't think it will, I hope it doesn't, because of the amount of time I have to work on this now, this stuff, I think. Those, I think, Osiler uh, and New Ash are probably gonna go by quite quickly. I hope at least. We will see. Um, Slide Town, uh, that will obviously go by fast. I say that, but I'm still working on Hop. 
<laughs> at Herc. <laughs> Like, I've been working on the towns a lot. Uh, well, my focus is usually on the big cities. That's where people probably are going to spend the most time. But yet, I say that I spent so long working on Snowball. And I've worked so much on uh, on sun Sunburst. Like, uh, is it some... No, some... Sun, sun Stardust. Ah. Uh, one of those. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> well, I think you can tell the amount of amount of stuff I've said today. Like I've, my brain is mush. <laughs> this is why I take a break after year end. Like I need it <laughs> to. A, my voice is already killing me, and this like I didn't say this at all in that part. But um, this entire quarter. Yeah, um, different days in the first quarter. <laughs> and my throat is already killing me. I still have another quarter and another video to do on this day. Like, yeah. Woo! The good thing is, trailers don't take that long. I don't even talk in them. I also haven't been done yet. <laughs> By the time, uh, the time of this, I haven't actually done this yet. I, I do, I usually do those actually after. <laughs> Kind of like ga gamer talk. I'm starting to do all that stuff after now, or before. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um. So I think I'm gonna call that here for the pre-show. Next thing is the after show on this stage, and that'll be it for this stage and this beautiful arena that was built so fast that there's probably issues with it. Because I built it so fast just for this event that I'm probably going to have to go through and fix things. So, like, with that, that will do it for the pre-shows of year-end 21. We are going to the after show now. Uh, yeah. Uh, Torch will be out by then. Uh, Torch will be out at the very end. With that, guys, I hope to see... But when am I doing my outro? Let's go back! Let's do the final quarter! Starting with uh, the merchandise unveiling. Sort of. One thing we can't unveil yet. Uh, it's poor timing on our part. Because one of the merchandise is based off the new season. And you guys don't know what the season is yet. So, yeah. With that, let's head back to the big stage for the final quarter of this season. Yeah. Let's go! Welcome to the final quarter! Of year end twenty one. Oh, oh my God! It felt like this has taken four days. <laughs> if you didn't hear me say, if if you just get the, didn't really listen during the pre-show, uh, final pre-show uh, break thing, um, I said that. It felt like this the last part took hours. It, like that the, the near village part made that so long I don't wanna do that again. So um yeah. This is the final quarter of season eight. The year of the globe ends today. Sort of. No, well, yes, it does end today. Because as soon as that torch in front, as soon as the pit, the fire, gets put out at the end of this quarter, this season is over. And we enter the cooldown period. <laughs> anyway, uh, the cooldown period, probably, I'd uh, say a week. Yeah, I'm probably not going to last a week. I'm probably going to start recording mid midway through this week. So, yay! Um, 
So, with that, what's up in this quarter? Let's talk about that, shall we? Well, the banner raising. <laughs> um, the final banner, season 9, uh, banner is coming along with the, uh, new merchandise coming. That is first. That is about to start. I'm about to do that. I have to reset because I need to bring the slide up. Um, then there's also, uh, the future of, the, like, what's the goals for this season? Um, the Game Nair of the Year 2021 voting is pretty much right at the very end. Um... Then the location of YE22. And then the closing. And then we go to the after show. And once again, hosted by me. I'd like to have other people do that, but there's no one else that would do it. So, yeah. Let's go to the merch stuff first. A lot of new merch. I will say that. Uh, so let's just uh, let's bring the slides up and I will get this. We will unveil them. Okay. This is the pretty much the final briefing thing, uh, sort of. I wouldn't even call this a briefing. I'm gonna blow through this pretty fast. Uh, this is what is coming to the Inair Army Shop this season, this fall, this next week. It, all this lands. The new merchandise. There is a lot of new series. Now, if you don't know um, about our shop, uh, we are, I'm going to try and get a link into our description this year when we redo it. I always like redoing it. Make it a little bit different. Um, but um, the new merch for this season is... Uh, is really really nice. Uh, I, we can't show it all, sadly. One design I have to keep secret. So if you want to see that design, you're gonna have to follow us on Instagram because it will be posted after this. Uh, well, and Twitter after this uh, show, it will after the year end. It will get shown. I might show it at um in. We might show it in the after show. Not a hundred percent sure yet, but um. Yeah. New merch on our store that's run by Teespring, which is now Spring. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, and this is the best way to support us, like, the team. If you want to get some merch, go ahead. It supports us and, uh, makes it Actually possible. No priest ever got stuff. Other than me. <laughs> but I've never even gotten stuff from this shop. I got stuff from the old shop. So, uh, yeah. First design coming. Now, I don't have the full, like, a uh, picture of, like, the design on, like, a top yet. I couldn't get that. Um, because I need to actually post them online, and I wasn't gonna do that. So we have the icon design, making use of the new icon system coming this season. If you didn't, if you remember what I said in um urine, the icon design is um it, the icons are the series icons. Now I don't want to put like all the series on this. I was originally, I felt like that would be a little overboard. So. I went with the Anir Army original series icon on the one uh one side. So I felt like that would be a good idea. If I decide to add them, they'd probably be on the back of the rest of them. But the rest aren't made yet, and uh the merch cutoff is this next week. Other than the fan vote stuff, I'll get to that at the end. That is this next week. So, next. It's about time we make an Inator Village series. We didn't even make one on the old uh, shop. Uh, this one, the city's design, 
There will be a design uh, for every single city on an air village. Every single um, design will have the name of the place. Then underneath will have the coordinates of the place. So, uh, yeah. Like, X, Y, Z. That's what, that, that's what those are. I got this idea because I got a top recently that had the longitude and latitude of a city. And I felt like, that's a good idea! And I did it. Now. Yeah. Hey, coming. <laughs> so, yeah. Then, next is... The trust design. Uh, this is a design based off of the fan voted design that did not get through of uh, the te the techno concept. This is a version of that, and this one's coming in. I might have techno go back in the voting this year. We'll see. I would have to find it. I did well. Actually, no, it's physically impossible. I deleted it. Anyway, uh, ignoring that. Uh, might do a one based off that then. Uh, anyway, um, trust design. I love this design. Um, will I get it? Probably not because I never usually get anything from my site. I really want to, but um, all of the ones that I'm showing you, they're not limited edition runs. These are permanent runs. They are not ending. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. So next is. The overheated uh, design, which is based off a thermometer, I think. I think you get what this is based off. Uh, the site recently uh, is now allowing uh, water bottles as uh, customizable. So I thought, hey, let's do that! <laughs> There's also going to be a water bottle getting added to pretty much every line that's already up. So, yay. Um, need to work on designs for those, so. Then, we get to the fan vote merch line of this season. Uh, which will happen on the Anator Army Instagram account, uh, this next week. Um, it is gonna be between four, six or four designs I'm thinking it's probably gonna be four so I can eat yeah it's gonna be between four so there's gonna be four designs and uh, there's gonna be like two rounds one round will be the all four then the next round will be the two and then the winner of that one will be made into a merch line and uh, yeah so, the only way you'll probably find out which one gets in is via there, or until we do the anniversary, because it will be set on stage there. At the mountain! <laughs> yeah, the mountain is the Veral Center. That's, uh, that's the new name. Anyway, that's it for the merch. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so, with that, let's, uh, just reset a little bit. Uh, well, get rid of this now. I just had it uh, silenced uh, for the first part. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go. Okay. So, with that, let's, uh, let's talk about next season. Uh, what are the goals for next season? Pretty much now, I'm not going to be cutting anymore until uh, location unveiling. Uh, nothing needs to be cut up. So, uh, what is the goals for this season? Well, um, for this channel, nothing really is going to change. For after hours, I really want to be more consistent. I know I want me to be more consistent uh, with videos on there, uh, with, uh, I hope I can this year. I think I will be able to uh, with the new system and all. Uh, so, I'm gonna aim to get all videos for a week done before the week. So, if I decide to like this channel's videos, then I can decide to add more. 
So, um, yeah. Um. Then, besides that, uh, Christmas countdown will happen this winter. I'm not 100% sure how we're gonna do it yet. I don't know if we're gonna reuse the same stuff from last year or if we're gonna do something different. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna use an air war this year. That will probably be the following year. Um, so. I don't know. Uh, if I do use Santa's Village again in AICS2 in Season 2 of an aircraft, um, I'm gonna need to do some more work to it. <laughs> it's not fully finished and I wanna do some more outside work this year. So, uh, like, uh, last Christmas countdown, it, we were stuck in the dome the entire time. So, um, yeah. Um, in aircraft, I want to do more consistent ults. I do want to do that more consistent this year. Um, I'm aiming to get one up every weekend. And that's... Okay, so, sorry about that. Uh, how to bleed nose. <laughs> um, yeah. So, as I was saying, I'm hoping to get an in aircraft um, episode up every, uh, weekend, uh, I do also want to do more power rankings this season. I started them late last season, this last season, and I love doing them. Um, like, they are so much fun to do. I love doing them. And, um, I can't wait to, um, uh, do more. I, I have some ideas, but I don't really know which, what would be a good idea and what would be a bad idea. So, me and I will probably talk about that. <laughs> anyway, um, so besides that, I don't really know what I'm going to do, um, besides all that for next season. Um, I do want to do some more server stuff. Uh, like I, I like doing the server stuff on on the channel. I love doing that. Um, so we'll see. Um, uh, in near war, I'm probably not gonna do anything on. Uh, it's pro if I do any server stuff, it'll probably be this one. Uh, so yeah. Be prepared for that. If a server thing does come up, it will probably be the uh, uh, this server, and I'll probably it, I I doubt I'll do new Ash stuff. I or Asylum stuff. I probably will stick to a near village and and stuff and like little builds. Like, uh, the, um, uh, horse rental area. I might build that on stream, though. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I know the names of the streaming groups that, the rental groups. I can't remember them off the top of my head. They're here. <laughs> They're here in minigames. Uh, this was the first place that I made them. So, uh, yeah. Um, we will see. I'm very interested to see what will happen this next season. Uh, things are subject to change. Uh, like, if we add a, if, um, the Lego game does actually end up coming out in the spring. Yeah, that's getting shotgun in right away. <laughs> I'm not waiting. I'm putting that in to the lineup right away. It'll take a little bit, but I, I will put it in as soon as I possibly could. Because I, well, when it comes out, I need to actually wait for it to come in. <laughs> I, uh, I have it pre-ordered, yes. Um, I have it pre-ordered via, um, physical copy. I don't like getting digital copies of stuff. Well, 
one game that I've had to pre-order this year is digital, and I didn't like doing it, because I hate digital, so, um, yeah, um, I can't wait until, um, Jump In gets to let me film, uh, Horizon 5 when that comes out, uh, that is the digital game, like, I get that right away, uh, Jump In will be pretty fast after the game releases. Well, it depends how much I want to cover in it. I might want to cover until, like, um, the, it's going to be a really cut up thing. Like, I might go until the first, um, the second, uh, festival we get, or, uh, like, stuff like that. Um, I, I want to do a good amount in the episode. Like, it might be two episodes by that, um, I don't know, though. Um, Underground, I can't wait to start. Uh, l like, I've looked throughout the world. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to build some stuff in because, uh, nothing's there. <laughs> there's no food. There's no wood. <laughs> there, like, you need wood. There ain't no wood. You can't go up above, because if you go too high, there's bedrock. It's like the nether. But, um, yeah. It's gonna be quite interesting to to do. I, I'm actually really interested to do, uh, intrigued to do Underground in the next coming, upcoming weeks. But, uh, I, not months, weeks. Like, I can't wait to do it. Uh, September, I will get the base done in an aircraft. I will confirm that. That is coming this month. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait, I, I have so much that I'm wanting to do this season, that some things I'm not wanting to really share yet, because I don't know if I will do them, and if I do do them, well, you will see them. <laughs> Alright, um, now, on the jumping th side of things, what would you want me to do? Like, um, is there any games coming out that you guys want to see me play that you don't think they're that you don't think will get played? I am very interested to hear what you guys uh say and uh no do keep in mind I'm on Xbox. I'm not I'm not on PlayStation. <laughs> so uh if you know anything, uh Feel free to let me know. I am very, uh, I'm very up to do trying things. Uh, on this channel, it has to be at least somewhat family friendly. I'm okay with Avengers and Guardians coming in because I, well, Avengers wasn't isn't that bad. It yeah, it's rated T. It's not that bad. Uh, Guardians from the clips, it doesn't look that bad either. So um, yeah. Then, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to call that here for, call that, uh, for the future stuff. Um, season nine unveiling is now. This is the big part. This is the big thing. Season nine. After a record-breaking season 8 for us, season 9 is hopefully going to be as, as strong. And has some, the season name does have a big thing to do with uh, next year's year-end. The, the, the name of... Season 9 is Year of the Frostbite! That is right, Year of the Frostbite is Season 9. Let me just take a picture of that. Season 9 is Year of the Frostbite. I'm overly excited that it is as a where we are where I live in person. Ah, uh, 
it get real cold here and we will get to the unveiling of um the year end place in a little bit it's not fully complete it's close but not yet um but uh i can't wait until uh that season kicks off after this next week um Obviously, any videos that are filmed this week are considered a part of year, of the year of Frostbite. After after today, they are considered the year of Frostbite videos. So, um, I might have a hint to the Frostbite stuff in the thumbnails. I'm thinking of doing like a little blue dot uh, on stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. Like a little crystal thing. We will see, um, but let's get to the voting. Um, so voting is changing a little bit, um, this year as, uh, um, well, um, there's, uh, I, that won last year, I did ask her if she wanted to be in this upcoming year's voting. She said no. So, um, that lowers it to, um, and I, act, I said yes. That lowers Game Nair of the Year voting to me? Uh, Sparky? Uh, strawberries, um, DJ, Halloon, Butter, sorry, um, Schmerick, Weird, Doc, Diamond, Potato, and Couch. That is who is, are uh, able to be voted for in f that could become Game Nair of the Year for 2021. And I I want to run because that would mean I'm Game Nair of the Year for year 10 and that gives me ultimate power <laughs> for the 10th year and I want to make some big, uh, I want to be able to have a lot more control. Uh, over the decisions. So, um, yeah. Um, in the round table, on the round table. So, with that, that is the voting. It's not that big, but it's big. Um, there, and pretty much everyone except I is in it. And then, let's get to the location. Season 9 is Frostbite. Let's put this behind me, shall we? Uh, let's put that right there, right there. Season 9 is Frostbite, the year of Frostbite. Um, now I said that has a big thing to do with next year's year-end location. Now, there's two mountains on the server that are cold. There is... Uh, star starburst? No, sunburst. One of those. I can't remember the name of it. All of a sudden, and snowball. And um, it's stardust. Yeah, yeah, it's stardust. Stardust and snowball, and both of them are um. The mountains. Now, I'm not doing it at both mountains. I'm only doing it at one. Uh, next year's year end 2022 is going to be at the Igloo Burial Center at Snowball Mountain. Now, let's just show you the Burial Center right now. This is what we always do. We always show you the center. Uh, let's give you a quick sneak peek of the Veral Center right now.
So, that is the igloo. It is huge. Now, pretty much the part that we are in is done. It is connected to a hotel, though, so that part is not done. Uh, the inside, uh, I don't know if I would have shown it, but the inside is not done yet. Uh, very much not done. Uh, floor is not in. Uh, the out, the lawn, where we are technically right now, uh, that's not done. Change room's not done. Uh, like, all that is not done. The restaurant's not done. This one doesn't even have a restaurant. Uh, so, yeah, some stuff is still left to do in that burial center. I can't wait to get back to work at, at it after, uh, year end. I had to put it on hold because year end needed a lot of stuff done for it, but I can probably guarantee, probably over next week, yeah, I might finish it. So, um, yeah. I can't wait for your end 22. The igloo is such a nice looking building. We already know where year end 23 is gonna be. Like, I, I love year end 22's spot. It is so amazing looking. It's so cool. Heh. <laughs> It, and there's a big glass window in it that you can look at the polar bears as they stroll on by. Like, it is so cool. I was thinking of putting a polar bear inside the place, but I don't really want to do that. I think that's a little dangerous. So, yeah. With that, that is year end 22. And now, it's kind of a sad moment. As is time to end season eight. Yeah, you heard me correctly. It is time to end season eight. I need a shovel. <laughs> Uh, this year has been overly amazing. I've loved this season so much. And it, do it does kind of hurt to uh, see this season end. But hopefully next season is as good and maybe better. But yeah, let's just put this torch out now. And once this campfire is out, season 8 is over, and season 9 awaits its kickoff next week. And that... Season 8 is complete! Woohoo! It's also a sad moment. Uh, I know I'm celebrating, but it's also a really sad moment because this has been a monumental year for us. So many changes were made. We we added so much. We changed so much. Like we changed so much for the better this year, and I can't wait to see what changes happen. And Probably just broke, yeah, I just broke the stage. And I can't wait to see what changes we make this next season. I can't wait for this season to kick off next at the end of this next week. And I'm just I'm so excited. I'm so happy that um one season is over, and we're getting to start f a fresh new season with hopefully more videos with m with a crew t this year. That is one of the things I did miss this year because of COVID. 
we couldn't do our uh, we couldn't do vi a lot of videos together. Me and I did do a lot of Splatoon stuff, and there is some videos that open in the opening week of Frostbite that will be including me and I as we conclude the Splatoon 2 story mode together. That will be fun. I can't wait to see if we can... I can't wait to see if we do get to have some more fun with, um, between ourselves and, like, videos in person, or maybe just some fun, uh, Splatoon stuff that might be throughout the season that we might just drop in if we get bored. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't wait until next, this next season kicks off frostbite i can't wait and um this year end has been probably the biggest year end we have ever made the amount of work that went into it building that big arena that was all last minute like going into this summer that arena that racetrack none of it existed all that is new the hotel is new. Like, so much was built just for this year end. And I'm hoping that next year end will be as big. Hopefully, not feel like it takes days to do. So, I hope to see you all in the next video. I'm Game Near 5 signing off. I hope to see you all in the after show, which is literally right away. But I hope to see you all then. Thank you for a great season. I hope, and I hope to see you all in the year of the frostbite as we enter season number nine. We are one away from ten. How crazy is that? <laughs> With that, guys, uh, yeah, good. Bye! Sort of, yeah, woo! -hoo! Okay, so welcome to the after show. Pretty much same exact thing as your end, just different stage. <laughs> so Year of the Frostbite is next season. I don't think a lot of people would have probably guessed that, other than I, because I'm pretty sure I told her. Uh, so yeah, Year of the Frostbite for season number nine. And, uh, yeah, going into year 10, we will have year end 22, which will be at the igloo. Uh, it's gonna be the probably the most high tech, <laughs> uh, on the, uh, in, like, server, uh, like, view, um, burial center that we've made. Until probably New Ashen <laughs> and uh, Osiler get built. So, uh, we probably will also stick one in Slide. I don't know if that's been confirmed yet, though. Uh, we might be still talking about that. Uh, so, um, yeah. I don't think we're gonna stick one in um, a national park. We might, but I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. With that, um, the merch. Yeah, there is a Frostbite line coming. Um, I don't have a picture of it. I have the design, but I'm, I already got rid of the thing that brings stuff up. So I'm not going to show that now. I'm going to, if you want to see that, I would recommend... Following us on Instagram that and Twitter, that will be where it gets posted, along with the rest of the lines. <laughs> so, with that, guys, I hope to see you all uh, pretty much in the next video. I don't really have much to talk about. Um, hopefully, 
uh, Raid Island is complete for next year. I will say that. I'm hoping I can get that done. It's turned into a lot bigger, a lot more ambitious than I originally thought. I knew it'd be ambitious. I didn't think it'd be this ambitious. So, that will conclude it for Element Clash Year End 21. Oh, boy. I don't know how long this is, honestly. I know some people keep count as to how long their videos go. Um, I'm one of those people that don't. Especially with this. I have two screens. They're both covered. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I did look under the folder um, that all these are going into. And my god, is it full. God. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get this edited in, uh, a little, like, I'm ending this at, uh, 3.06 on Friday, and it releases Saturday at 3, so, yeah, um, it's kind of funny, it's kind of ironic, but, um, yeah, I hope to see you all next season, uh, first video will probably be me and I in story mode. Uh, Premiere Month will probably take a... will have something that week. I don't know what, though. Uh, so, yeah. There's two things. So, yeah. Um, with that, guys, I hope... That, well, actually, no, there's four things. So, yeah, something will definitely be in that week. Uh, two of them aren't filmed yet. So, yeah. Uh, with that, I hope to see you all in the next video. And, yeah, goodbye! Sort of. Yeah, now, yeah, now. It's fully goodbye. Goodbye! See you next season! Thank you for a great year, Ed! Thank you for a great season! And, yeah! Before Hook comes! Like, big giant hook to hook me off the stage. That wouldn't come, but I'm just, like, being funny. Anyway, goodbye, guys!